no secret that weddings cost a lot of money. According to the wedding website The Knot, couples spent on average $30,000 on their weddings in 2022. But talking with some friends and family, many people spend well over that, especially if you live in an expensive city like I do. So we decided to try to save some money by having a destination wedding in Mexico. We spent 10 long, busy months planning the perfect wedding. But how much money did having the wedding outside of the US actually save us? Hi, my name is Marilyn and we had our wedding in October of 2022. And today I'm gonna walk you through the cost breakdown of everything we spent on our wedding, from our venue to our photographers, to our food and everything in between. So let's get started. Before we get started, I'm going to walk you through some fun facts about the wedding so you have a good perspective of what we spent on. So we had 250 guests at our wedding, including the bride and groom. We got married in a small town called Valle de Guadalupe, which is in Jalisco, not to be confused with the Valle de Guadalupe in Baja California, which is like the wine country, um, kind of Napa in Mexico. Our reception space was outdoor, so we had an outdoor wedding. Our wedding was very traditional. We got married in a church. And that church is actually the same church that my husband's parents and both sides of his grandparents got married in as well. So it was really special to us. We got married in October of 2022. So we had kind of a fall wedding, I guess. And actually um, our wedding date is the same date as his grandparents who got married in the same church. 41 years before we did. That was just a coincidence. When we were picking our wedding day, we just wanted a Saturday in October, and it ended up being the same date as his grandparents. It felt really special that we got to get married on their anniversary. We also had a full service wedding planner. She helped us out from the very beginning um, with all our plannings, especially because it was like a destination wedding for us. And we had a seated three course plated dinner um, for the guests. And we also had a full service bar. So now that you know all these fun facts and you know what we're working with, let's get on to what we actually spent on our wedding. Also, our ceremony started at 4.30 p.m. and then the party went on until about 2.30 a.m. All right, so I'm gonna go into what each vendor cost us and then in the corner of this video, I'm gonna be adding up the total as we go. Another note before we start, uh, all of the things we paid for, we actually did pay in pesos because we were in Mexico, um, but I have converted all of that those amounts into US dollars and I've also rounded up the numbers just to keep it simple. All right, starting off with venue. Our venue cost us zero dollars. It was actually free because um, our reception space was actually my husband's family's property where they had hosted a lot of weddings before and so since we were family they let us have our wedding there for free and that cost us zero dollars. But to get married in the church we actually did have to pay and that was fifty dollars. And then at our church we also um, had some church music, some live church music, so that was two hundred dollars to have. And then, um, like I said before, we did have a full service wedding planner and our wedding planner, like our event um, planners that we went with, actually came with our main wedding planner and then two day of coordinators um, for the day of the wedding, uh, along with um, five to ten, I don't remember exactly how many, but five to ten hostess that helped people when they were coming into the reception um, and helped them greet them and seat the guest as they came in. Um, and so for all of that wedding planning service, it came out to be $3,355. For our food, we did have like a typical three course menu with um, like a starter, a main course and a dessert. And along with that at the almost closer to the wedding, we actually added on some appetizers when people were coming in so that they wouldn't get hungry, kind of like during the cocktail hour. So for all of that food, it cost $5,998. And then we went with like a full service bar um, that had all these different types of cocktails that they could make. And that came out to be $1,632. But aside from that, we also wanted some extra alcohol, like just bottles of tequila, just in case people didn't want those fancy cocktails. And they actually just wanted like shots or just more simple drinks with tequila. And so um, I'm not... I don't remember exactly how many bottles we bought, but it did come out to about $1,142 for those tequila bottles. And we actually ended up with a lot of extra tequila, so um, we probably didn't have to spend that much on it, but uh, it was totally worth it. 
our DJ was probably one of our more pricier vendors, but I think it's because we went with someone that we knew was reliable and that people have worked with in the past and also had good music. And the DJ not only came with like the DJ itself and the hours that they played the music with the setup and the breakdown, but also with their like lights, their equipment, their sound system. And not only that, but also um, with our dance floor. And this price also included like this big, it's called a grand support that you put like on top of the dance floor and it's like decorated really nice and it came with these like hanging lights and these candles and it looked beautiful i will insert some pictures of course um but yeah it came with all of that the dance floor the grand support the dj this all the equipment and stuff and that came out to be five thousand three hundred and eighty five dollars i believe the dj was like for seven hours of service i want to say we also had live mariachi. It was actually an all-girls mariachi. It was amazing. People loved it. Um, they played as soon as we came out of the church and they also played while people were coming into the reception space and throughout like our little cocktail hour time. Um, they were amazing and they cost $1,950. Now moving on to photography and videography. Um, our photos, we were so excited about our photographer we loved so much and she honestly exceeded our expectations and she came out to be um eighteen hundred dollars which for photos is amazing but wait till you hear how much our videographer was he only cost five hundred dollars the photographer and videographer weren't like together they were like a diff both different companies but for having both of them um in a price under like three thousand dollars to get both things is like really unheard of at least in the us um and they were amazing then we also hired a company that rented us a lot of the things we needed for the reception space so like chairs um tables um utensils cups all of that along with a big tent that we had in our outdoor reception area so for all of those rentals it was three thousand eight hundred and thirty dollars now I also did um, hair and makeup and for that I hired someone out of Guadalajara and so she drove all the way to Valle de Guadalupe to do my hair and makeup and I loved the way it turned out and for her it cost $300. We also hired um, this like bus rental service to take people from um, Tepa, which is a town like 30 minutes away from where we got married. We had people out of town stay in Tepa and so we hired a transportation service to get people to the ceremony and also bring them back to Tepa after the party was done. Um, so for that service it was $700. We also had a really cool car that, like a getaway car that um, brought me into the church when it started and then also took us to our reception space and it was so much fun and like we got some like beautiful pictures with that car as well so I think it was totally worth it and we paid $300 for that service. We didn't have really like an official photo booth but we did have one of those 360 camera things and honestly it was so much fun we got so many cool videos from it and I think people really enjoyed it um, and that cost $350 for I think three hours. I also ended up doing a first look before the ceremony and where and we were trying to decide where we wanted to do the first look we actually found this place that they call Casa de las Fotos or something um, that's just kind of what they call it but it's basically like where people go and rent this house and this like their property to take photos because it's really really beautiful and so that's where we did our first look and we took a lot of our photos with our bridesmaids and groomsmen and to rent that place for like two three hours it was actually only $25 um, so that was really neat and it was really useful. We also had fireworks at our wedding um, which Thomas's grandma really wanted and she was like I'll pay for it. Um, I just really want fireworks there and we were a little hesitant because there's been past incidents where they've had fireworks and it and it led to like a little fire happening um, but everything was safe it was awesome and it's just like this local guy who does fireworks for the town I guess and they're like handmade uh, or homemade um, so it's a little sketchy but they were beautiful and I actually don't know how much they cost I just never got that information actually because like I believe Thomas's grandma paid for it um, but I, I doubt they were that expensive okay this next one is the one that surprised me the most and I just couldn't believe because flowers are so expensive and this is the one I've heard when you get married like flowers are gonna cost you so much especially if you want a lot and we personally had a lot of flowers like our ceremony at the church was decorated beautifully we had an art arc 
archway of flowers it was so amazing we had our all our tables had centerpieces of flowers all my bouquets all my bridesmaids bouquets um we had some flowers for our like sweetheart table there was a lot of flowers and the total the total that it came out to be for all those flowers was only three thousand dollars i think in the u.s is like unheard of for that amount of flowers so that's definitely like a perk i think of being in mexico and especially like having a lot of local vendors um a lot of things like that are usually expensive you can actually find um for a much reasonable price and another purchase that we made for decorations is actually uh, table numbers that I bought off of Etsy, and those were $83. I also forgot to mention that we did have a taco truck come at 11 p.m. as a late night snack, and that cost is not included in the total I'm about to mention, but I wanted to include it because it was so worth it and everyone loved it. Its cost was $800 to have. So, so far, our total for the wedding is $30,600. Now, this is just for the things, like the vendors and like the things at the actual space in Mexico. There was also expenses that we had, like invitations, or my dress, Thomas's suit, and things like that, um, that do add up to the total cost of the wedding. I'm gonna kind of um, quickly walk through what those cost and then add those up to get like a, a true cost of, of, of what we spent on our wedding. So again, we had a total of 250 guests but we actually invited like sent out invitations for 400 guests which is crazy but we were lucky that about like half of those um, actually accepted and came to the wedding um, so for save the dates it cost us hundred and six dollars to send out invitations it was about hundred and fifty dollars we went really really simple with both of these because I didn't want to spend too much money on these things and then for my wedding dress I actually did buy it here in San Francisco um, and that cost me $1,986 is how much my dress cost. Um, but then I also did alterations at the same shop that I bought it at, and that was very pricey. The alterations ended up being $958, which is crazy, and honestly, I didn't do that many alterations. Like, the dress fit me pretty well, um, but I just was like, this is easy, I'm gonna go with this. And then I got my veil off of Etsy, so it was only $71. Thomas actually got a custom suit, um, in a shop in San Francisco and and that cost him about a thousand dollars We also went to our um, local jewelry shop where he actually bought my engagement ring to buy our wedding bands and for my wedding band it was $820 and Thomas's wedding band was $955. We also decided to do a Squarespace website for our wedding website We did use the knot for our RSVP functionality and we just linked the not website for our RSVP part on our Squarespace website but I really wanted like um, a full customizable website so we did Squarespace and for a year to have that with a custom domain it was $130 so with all this other stuff that I added on our total cost of our wedding was $36,776 now for the amount of people we had, the amount of flowers, the grand wedding that it was, this price actually doesn't sound too bad, at least for me. We did have initially like a budget of about $20,000 that we kind of wanted to stay around and I knew that that was going to be hard to achieve, um, but I think we did pretty well, especially considering that even though our wedding came out to be about $36,000, me and Thomas actually didn't spend $36,000. The amount that we spent like from our own money was less than that because we were very fortunate that a lot of our family and friends um, were willing to help us out with a lot of cost of the wedding. There was people that would be like, I wanna pay a deposit here for this or a deposit there, or that helped us pay like for all our flowers or a different part of our wedding or just gave what they could. And it was super, super helpful. So ca I calculated how much like our family helped us um, and it was about $12,000. So if you subtract that from the full cost of the wedding, what me and Thomas actually ended up paying was $24,776. So that's how much we actually like me and him spent on the wedding. And considering our budget was like $20,000, that's, that's really good. But again, we were just very fortunate that our family was willing to help us and like we didn't even ask for that. They just, it's just something they wanted to do. So if you're planning a wedding and people are willing to help, like take, take it. Like people generally want to help you. 
All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful. If you are planning your wedding right now, um, best of luck. I know how stressful and crazy it is, but there's a crazy car outside. Okay, <laughs> but it is totally, totally worth it. And that is coming from someone who did not want a big wedding at all. Um, it was all worth it and I would do it all over again because that day was magnificent. <laughs> If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so more people can find it. And if you're willing, please subscribe to my channel. It is so easy. It takes two seconds. It takes one second to find the subscribe button, another second to click on it. And that's all you have to do. And if you have already um, had your wedding, please comment below how much you spent on your wedding. I'm just genuinely curious, especially if you had one in Mexico. And if you found this video helpful, also leave a comment and leave me any ideas or questions that you may have about my wedding in Mexico. I will try my best to answer the questions. And if not, I can make other videos um, answering those questions. So leave your video request, whether they have to do with a wedding or not. Um, that would be amazing. So hopefully you stick around on this channel. Um, thank you again so much for watching and have a nice day. Bye, see you next time.